Hey guys, Matt from Laser Everything here today to talk to you about how you can use the Cut Shapes tool in Lightburn, as well as some Color Craft Plastics from Johnson Plastics Plus to create some really cool seasonal items in your shop. So stick around and we'll get hopping. So guys, thank you for coming to the show today. I wanna to do a quick explanation of the materials and what our project is gonna be. So today we are gonna be making some really neat Easter basket tags. They're gonna look like carrots. And to do that, instead of painting, we're gonna be using these Color Craft Plastics from JP Plus. They were really nice to send that over as our sponsor, so we appreciate it. But I hate painting. I'm really not a big fan of it. I don't have time with three kids to do lots of neat colors on stuff. I'm really jealous of the people who can. So when I was given an opportunity to use these to do something cool and create create something crafty, I was like, that's awesome. So we'll be using some 1 8 white MDF from h, h Creations Tampa. We're using our three colors. This comes in a pack that's got about nine or 10 different colors in it from JP Plus. And we're using our big roll of dual tight from David Brown. And that's it, the light burn program, our laser cutter, and we're good to go. So let's take a look at how we're gonna do that in light burn to create our project. This is the craft plastic pieces that you can find. We were shipped the craft plastic sheet pack that has all of the colors of the rainbow plus black and white. And it's really cool. So for eight sheets, it's $24. So it comes out to about $3 a sheet. And when you do the 12 by 12 that each sheet is, it comes out to about two and a half cents per square inch. So really, really affordable. And what's really neat is that they have all four seasons here. So head over to JP Plus, take a look at these. Remember to use the code YLR-ZDF. It's our affiliate link. If you wanna help sponsor the channel, we'd really appreciate it. And also get some color in your projects. Like this is not stuff that I would normally pick, but I was really impressed with it we just created a cutout shape and you can turn it whatever way you want to. I'm thinking these are gonna be basket tags which probably are gonna hang down. So I'm going to take this and add a little circle right about here. And we'll just hit control shifts for a little, little movements. But that way there's still plenty of meat on there to hold this because little kids might be grabbing this or pulling on it and we don't want it to break. So basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna apply the orange to here. And we're gonna have a cut here to make it green. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that pretty quickly. And we're actually gonna add a name too. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put Cade. Underneath it, we'll have the white. So basically what we'll have is an orange application. The name will be cut out. And the nice thing about doing it this way is you can use whatever font you wanna use and there's no need to worry about it and how it's gonna look because it's going to be cut out and look nice. Okay, so we have three layers going on here. This is our white MDF layer, and then we're looking to put an orange layer here with green here. So to do that, we really just need the shape. So we're gonna make sure we get the one with the circle in it. And what we're gonna do is we are going to use the cut tool. And so to do that, you need two closed shapes. So one thing to note here when you're doing this, we wanna go ahead and set this to an engravable. The reason that you wanna set the piece that you are cutting using the cut shape tool to engravable is it will automatically close itself when we're done. So to use this tool, we're gonna to come over and select box. You can use any of the tools that are here that create a closed shape. But to me, the fact that we have a pretty straight line here we should be able to connect this pretty quickly and easily so what we're going to do is create our cut shape tool okay and here you can see it makes it really nice and easily visible where we are as far as the line goes so it doesn't have to be perfectly in line but we want to get it as close as we can so that it can sit flush right there all right and so what we're going to do now is we take these two and we're going to select our closed shape we're going to select the box and then we're gonna come up to our tools and you'll see cut shapes is actually something we can now click. And when we do, what you should see is this box is now cut differently. So it's not the entire project, it's actually just one piece. And then we can come click this right here and we have a severed carrot top. That's kind of what we were shooting for here was to have a nice flat piece. You'll notice that there's one little piece that sticks out. You can go into the node editor to correct that, or you could just leave it there because either way, what we were looking for is a flat divide between our two segments so that when we push those together on top of the white MDF core, that they should connect and conceal the white and also sit pretty flush, nice together. So to do this, 
we're gonna come into the node editor. So to edit this node back to where it's more flat or that things connect a little nicer for our project, you'll notice that when I click the edit nodes, nothing is happening. That's because we grouped two shapes together. So the computer doesn't know what to do because it's a grouped thing. So what we need to do is ungroup them and you'll see that we have this here. And we've got this one free floating node that we can just bring in so that it's not so drastic. And so we can kind of just take these and line them up. We got this little anchor point here. And we can take all of these back to their anchor spots. And now when we zoom out, that's a nice cleaned up solution there. But really quickly, make sure you go back and regroup these. So now we've got these pieces. And when we go to take it back to the actual original piece, it'll still fit nice and flush against the back end of the carrot it looks good so that overlap right there basically it's negligible when you go to put these two together the two physical pieces wouldn't counter each other out so this should look nice when put together and so now we are going to go through this and we're going to take the name uh, by the way we're going to take this and make this a cut line again and you'll see that the piece retained the edge that wasn't there before. We'll do the same thing over here. And then what we're going to do is bring this name down here. And you can place this wherever you feel like it's aesthetically pleasing. Now we need to create three of these for my kids. Okay, going to try to optimize these a little bit for the cutting path here. We'll line these up to the left. And so by aligning them and flipping them around, you can get a little more cut space out of this. And same thing goes here. We'll just flip this around, bring this down here. Probably aligning these centered would be best. Out of my 12 inch by 12 inch, I'm using about seven inches by 2.75 inches. So we still have quite a bit left. And then over here, we would be using seven by four so we can get quite a few out of this little strip. All right, so let's take this to the machine now and see what we can do. All right, guys, so we're here over at the workbench where we made some room, and I was able to get nine of these carrots cut out nicely from one sheet. So a 12 by 19 sheet got us approximately nine of these. We could have probably squeezed 10 in, but it would have been a little rough. So I figured let's just get nine, pretty solid. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply our adhesive to the backs of these. And so when you get the craft plastic, you'll notice that there is the side that has like a shiny covering on it. It's got a piece of plastic for protection. And then there's a more matte side. And that's the side that the plastic has no protection on. So we want to make sure that we are putting the adhesive on this side. And then when we go to laser it, we'll take this side off too. So I've got my adhesive from David Brown, my big roll of dual tight. I'm literally just going to stretch out about a foot from the sheet. I'm going to take the side that is the matte side. I'm gonna put that face down on it and get it close to flush. And I'll just take my squeegee and kind of push it down as I go. Okay. And then what we'll do is I've just got a little cutting tool. It's a pair of scissors that cut in half. And I'm just gonna use the side as a guide. And I won't get every single piece of this coated this way, but that's fine. That's it. So using that method was super quick. Basically, I just had my roll. I stretched out across the cutting board that's 12 inches long. I put it on there and dropped it right there, sliced off the edge, and now I've got adhesive applied to it. So one of the things great about Johnson Plastics Plus is you can order a lot of their plastics with adhesive. The craft pack, you will have to apply it in some way, whether you're using glue or some type of dual-sided tape. So there you go. That's how we put it together. All right, guys, we're back here at the bench. I've gone to laser cut the pieces that we need. I'm going to talk about a couple of things. So basically, we're going to talk about Cade's name and how it's got a strange situation going on with the letter D and the letter A. We're going to do some replacement and how to handle that. And then we also cut out the green and we've got our white pieces sitting here together. So let's take a look at how this is gonna get put together. So what we have here is our white MDF, our orange craft plastic and our green craft plastic. So to me, the quickest and easiest thing to do would be to take off the adhesive backing. So we're gonna do that really quick. And this is pretty sticky stuff. So we gotta kinda hit it right on the first try. So we're gonna line this up with our cutout hole, press it flat, it looks pretty good. We'll start with Cades. And so just to test this out to make sure it looks nice, there we go. So we're gonna come back over here. We just gotta get our adhesive off. 
So now I'm just gonna line this up with the flat part that I cut earlier down at the bottom, making sure we don't see any white. And we'll press it down and press them together. And so far we're looking pretty good, but you'll notice the A and the D are missing a little bit here. So what we can do, no problem. We've got our side with the adhesive, so we know what side is supposed to be down. We'll put that in. And we also have this small segment left that has the adhesive on the back. So we are going to take that adhesive off and we're gonna use the cutout like a stencil. And even though this takes a little bit of time, this is way shorter than if I were to try to do this with paint. Okay, so there's our D right nice and stuck on we're gonna do the same thing with the letter a we just did the same thing by the way on this little piece of the a so we're gonna put it inside of that piece right there so we had to go get a tool with a finer edge but now when you look at this this is very nice. This is exactly what I had envisioned. And it's plastic, it's got white on the back, nice and clean, very nicely put together. And we're gonna do the same thing for our other two, the same way. So we're just gonna take off the adhesive, find our lineup spot, press down and adhere. So the nice thing about these two names is there are no weird segments that are missing. So it should be a little easier. So that came off nice and easy, press down. So now we have Evelyn's done. We'll do the same thing for Levi's. We're gonna move these out of the way. Use our holes to line this up, just like before. Knocking that. We got Levi, go to the tip of the carry here and peel that off. And we'll do the last same thing, right? And we'll press it down, get that nice clean edge. And there you go. That took us about eight minutes of me explaining it, slowly going through the process with you guys. You could do this much faster and ahead of time and in batches. And so basically now we have some really nice colorful tags that will hang really easily. And they're very sturdy with the 1 8 MDF as its core and super nice colorful designs. So hopefully this video helped you figure out how to use the cut shape tools a little bit better and also made you think about different ways that you can add some color into your projects this year. I really think that the craft plastics from JP Plus is really cool and it's very cost effective. Also, my actual project time took a total of maybe 20 minutes, including file design, cutting, putting adhesive on the back, and then finally putting them together. And they, they came out great, so take a look really nice everything came together pretty neat all the colors pop this is something that you could really make some easy money with and definitely get a return on your investment as well as all of the other colors that are available throughout the year i think it was really cool hopefully you guys found value in what we talked about today and if you wanted to help support the channel or further your laser journey head over to masters.lasereverything.net where you can join the laser master academy and you can talk with me kyle alex or any of our other amazing experts that we have about all the different types of products and projects that will help make your business even more successful so from everybody here at laser everything. We'll see you in the next one.